Part two. See, Habakkuk is kind of pissed off and is asking the anointed one and my God why they are allowing the evildoers to have their way over mankind. But he is talking to the anointed one too. You'll see. But that's just the tricky part. The big fig Newton is what he said the evildoers are doing to mankind. Check it out. Remember, perceive Habakkuk is talking to my God with the anointed one standing there. Quote, Art not thou from the beginning? O Lord God, comma, looks at the anointed one. My holy one, and surely you shall not die. O Lord, thou has established it for judgment, comma, and he has formed me to chasten with his correction. Listen closely. His eyes is too pure to behold evil doings and to look upon grievous afflictions. About to ask the anointed one a question. Wherefore do thou look upon despisers? Stop. Bingo. Wow. He has Pelinis. Question. Who is Abaka talking to while calling him his holy one? Before you answer, make sure you factor in when he continued to say, quote, O Lord, thou hast established it for judgment, and he has formed me to chasten with his correction. Before you answer yet again, what do you perceive when it said, quote, His eye is too pure to behold evil doings and to look upon grievous afflictions, colon. Wherefore dost thou look upon despisers? Example. Who, me? I perceive you are not supposed to see it if you're asking me that question. I don't want to be in opposition to my creator. Let's continue for more clues, shall we? Verse 14. Listen closely. Again, he's mad about it and is asking my God and the anointed one a couple of point-blank questions. Envision this. He's facing the anointed one and gestures at my God. Quote, His eye is too pure to behold evil doings and to look upon grievous affliction. He looks back at the anointed one and asks a series of questions. Wherefore dost thou look upon despisers? Will thou be silent when the ungodly swallows up the just? Listen closely. Will thou make men as the fishes of the sea and as the reptiles which have no God? Stop. Bingo. Why bingo you ponder? Because he is contending with the creator about what he's allowing the evildoers to do. So when he asks, quick, uh, quote, Will thou make men as the fishes of the sea and as the reptiles which have no God? He's really backing up our Nineveh, our sword, and our Rodanites. Rodanites, understanding by telling us the evildoers are creating clones, as many as the fish in the sea, that don't know their right hand from their left. <laughs> but let's continue for more clues if you don't believe me. Question. Remember when the scriptures told us my God was going to bring Godzilla up with a net? May I ask another question, please? Remember when the scriptures told us my God was going to bring a hydra up with hooks with an S and its jaws with an S? I pray thee one last question. Remember when each and every one of you rebelled against the old scribe? You remember when I proved there was a third water creature towards Ethiopia that was going to be brought up with a singular hook. I can provide the videos if you want. Thumbs down this video if you want me to. I can't hear your answer if you remember because this is a video. But if you remember, listen closely. Now Habakkuk is about to holy talk and talk about my God's actions in the future. Now envision Habakkuk talking to the anointed one while pointing back at my God. Verse 15, quote, 
He has brought up destruction with a hook, the serpent, comma, and drawn one with a casting net, Godzilla, comma, and caught another in his drag, Hydra. Therefore shall his heart rejoice and be glad. Listen up. Therefore will he sacrifice to his drag and burn incense to his casting net because by them he has made his portion fat and his meats choice. Yeah. We know, stop, off the cuff. We know this sword is supposed to, you know, be a, 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 a land of casting nets. But remember, Sora is a, a living ship. It's not uh, an animal. And it strictly says here, his it's going to be a sacrifice, uh, portions, uh, fat, and his meat's choice. So this is, these are animals. So that's why I didn't bring put Sora in there. As uh, Yeah, all right? Let's continue. Therefore will he cast his net and will not spare to slay the nations continually. So let me, put, let me do that last part. Therefore will he sacrifice to his drag. And we know the drag is the many hooks, which is Hydra. And burn incense to his casting net, Godzilla. Because by them, Hydra and Godzilla, he has made his portion fat and his meat's choice. Therefore will he cast his net and will not spare to slay the nations continually. Example. So as you complain, we hear. I told you. We know it's. Hold on. Well, that's it. I don't want to say no more. I don't want to say no more. That, that's, that's the next video. I'm about to tell on myself. Thank you for looking at this video. My God's will. Look for the next. Endure.